This is Cal Katz at Cal Katzer. This is a quickie review of, of Star Trek uh, Lord X Strange Energies. This is a silly episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Um, but yes, uh, we have the. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they spoof where no one's gone before and uh, who mourns for Adonais in this one. From the classic track. Uh, they have. They have them going to a planet where they have inadvertently power wash a god machine that activates and turns uh, uh, the uh, commander into a godlike entity that and then tries to uh, create gym equipment and then and because he's he's into being a bear and uh, and then <laughs> and then destroy the uh, the ship so he's basically sort of sort of Calcat circa the the black belt here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, because it's like twenty years ago in the story. It's twenty three eighty. Um, <laughs> no, he, he's 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 more like a, like a John Cena type of character. I was never that. No, um, <laughs> no, no, I never bought really. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, he's more like that. Uh, he's not played by. Anyway, um. The, yeah, the Jack guy, uh, Ransom and and Freeman have been squaring off about being mother and daughter, and and she's disobeying orders. And all that. Uh, the back the uh, B story is that Tendy and Rutherford are are at odds because they think after Rutherford was repaired, it's been a couple of weeks since the last episode. Uh, and uh, Rutherford was repaired. Uh, he's still uh, he, he suddenly likes pears or something. So uh, very 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 silly track. Uh, so she thinks he has a, 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 a mental disease. It's melting his brain. And, uh, they do the LDS LSD joke in there. Um, um, yeah, they they which is from Star Trek Four, where he, Spock did a little too much LDS uh, just, instead of LSD. Um, that's from Star Trek 4. Uh, so there's all these, there's not as many jokes, but there are some. I thought it was an Iconian gateway at first. It wasn't, it wasn't um, on the planet. It was more like a Where No Man Has Gone Before slash Apollo Idol-like thing. Apparently, uh, although the, how they figure it out, they uh, they, they hit, hit him in the ball, or Ransom hits him in the balls repeatedly. Uh, that, that's how they, that's how they, depower him because his head flies off to go fight the ship where his body's on the planet and apparently you can kick him in the balls until he relents um it's it's completely silly and ludicrous but if you were following the uh, Cillian uh, realms books that is exactly what happens on the planet in the pine hill planet in the space earth Cillian earth uh, with the libyan chris and the Libyan, who was is the Elijah in the river, but it was a Libyan, not named after Libya, but but after after um Libby, which was Libby, um, but it was also a nod to Back to the Future, where the Libyan was was uh, the, the Libyans from Back to the Future that just a random terrorist guy show up in a in a uh, in a van. It was a little bit offensive, but it was 1985, so why not? Uh, uh, Three years later, there's Silly in Space in 1988 during the Silly Trek role-playing game at school. How would Star Trek have even known about that? Well, apparently, this uh, character of Ransom is, is basically a version of the Libyan. She's basically the Libyan. Uh, and she acts just like her, uh, except that she happens to be black in this version. But, uh, yeah, she's the Libyan. Um, <laughs> absolutely. Um, <laughs> Of uh, in our version, she was a little blonde, which is even scarier. Um, but they didn't want to go there. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, uh, the, uh, the this version they, they changed it up a little. Um, yeah. <clears throat> also, they have rather third from Mike Gamelt, not with permission. I don't think he got permission. And Tendi, also from Mike Gamelt, the, the Orion girl. Um, so they got two of them there. Uh, and, uh, we didn't have permission when we used some of his short story in our, uh, Cillian Saga, so, uh, we get to use Tendi as well. And she gets to appear 20 years later in, in, uh, 
uh, as as a, a Janeway figure painted green <laughs> in uh, in uh, in uh, Strange Worlds. So we get to use her too. But later on, it's a Tendi from 20 years later, so we can't change anything that's from this story. Is it? Yeah, so, so we don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. We, we don't go into that in the whole Strange World series. Not Strange New Worlds, Strange Worlds fan series. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we don't know what happened to the rest of them. We assume they're around, but we, we're not going to find out. No, she's just there. And she's she's probably around 30 in this story, but in that one she's 50. So she's 20 years later. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, as, uh, she's basically the talisman character from that as well. So, yeah. Um, not really, but really, really close. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're not literally, we don't know Mike McMahon and his crew or anything. It's just a real major coincidence. <laughs> Anyway, so that's uh, my strange review of Strange Energies, uh, of Strange Rolls and the Strange Energies. Uh, also, we get Riker and the Titan thing from the preview where they get, it's going to get sucked into an anomaly, probably to visit Silly Track. Uh, that, would be, that would be interesting. Um, uh, yeah, so they, they think Boimler's having fun and he's uh, about to be destroyed in an anomaly. That's uh, a new Trek anomaly. Eh. No, not really, but... Um, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do for the rest of the season. Uh, hopefully we'll find out at some point. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Cillian Saga Strange Worlds would be uh, not canon anyway. It's not officially Star Trek. It's a Star Trek spoof. So, so they can have a parody. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's it.